respectful. We are in a sacred passage, which is for initiation and meditation. We did not come to defile this place, and we do well to hurry. The Tiernaha Kadaktis has quite the head start. Why can they tell us, like, I have to be one of the most respectful people on this island about everything, yet everywhere I go, I, I swear, they gotta remind me. Like, hey, you just learned about a sacred ritual to go into a sacred place and everything. Don't do anything ridiculous. Sounds like I can use that people. I can abuse it a few times. The magic's not the best though. I not like being trapped in this corner. Looks like this monster's probably feeling the same thing I just felt. Like, uh. Magic regen is pretty slow, but now that I actually have magic skills, I could see myself investing some points if I could find a faster way to level up. Since levels are kind of slow for me right now, it's... I don't know if I want to commit into it. I know the next thing I want to work on for weapons. Uh, decisions, decisions. Is that the way I came up? This isn't the way I came up, but we're going to quickly poke our head down here just to see. Come on, skill point. Nope. Lots of, lots of flying guys. I need to work on producing more adrenaline theory. I am trying to heal myself. There he goes. You're running out of energy. There we go. Uh, did I get myself turned around? Oh, nope. I did not get turned around. Excuse me, coming around. I'm hoping one of these wrong paths will contain something eventually. Nice. What do we got? Great scythe. I mean, okay. Guessing that's what it would have been, but I don't know if that's... Two-handed heavy weapon, strength four. Wowzers. That's nice. Can't use, I, th mm. 
How close are we? Ooh, level 25. I'll be able to use that if I wanted. Ooh. Which is a ways out, but I knew we'd find something going down those paths. It's like gamer intuition. Unless you're playing horror games, then usually you get nothing for going down extra paths. Except for the need to change your hands. I'm trying to wonder how this lady made it. Oh, actually, she kind of controlled bees, so. I think it comes down to those reasons. teammate. I got it. Never mind. Gotta, gotta learn to eliminate the weak ones first, team. thing is huge. Assuming this is, yeah, this is the right wrong way. Oh, that sweet camera angle. Message from a soldier of Seraphim's expedition to my comrades, be careful. The magic of the beast who roams this land is stronger than the natives. Try to protect yourself from it, and if you see symbols appearing on the ground, flee. Oh, that sweet camera angle. Yep, oh, not pause. That button. So we explore down there. So there's this area kind of in there. And this area. There's nothing over there. Okay, that area just connects. I'm not going to bother going that way just to make the map look a little better. Oh, that's a person. Yep. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, further that way. Like, way further that way. Come on. 
getting better at killing these things. Much, much better. I think Kurt took down like two. It's only the breaking the armor that's tough. As soon as that's down, they're pretty easy. Oh my goodness. Getting closer. In the ancient woods. We're on the right track. There are some fresh prints here. I hope she didn't hide in this forest. Finding her here would be quite troublesome. It is an ancient and holy forest. A powerful place. There must be a mad eye here. We should be careful. Or what I like to hear. There's a boss fight here. That's what all video gamers just heard right there. Right up here in this clearing. Oh, nope, there's a campfire. The get yourself ready, we're about to dish it out here. Guys, just work on breaking up that armor. Is she dead or just taking a Actually gone out of my way to bring someone back to life. fight. Why? Why? In order to capture and extract from her what we need. To examine her. Dissect her. 
if necessary. You have done us a great service, guiding us directly to her. Are you saying that... Even if the creature has concocted some remedial potion, it is not the song we came for, but the bird. She leads the sorcerers of this island. She knows how they transform, and from where their powers originate. Our scientists think that the remedy is there, in their pseudo-magic, and in their mutation. Thank you for bringing her to us, and ridding us of the monster. Do you think I'm going to allow you to manipulate me? I don't think anything. Apologies, Excellency. But you are going to die tragically from a stray bullet intended for the monster. <laughs> Mercy, Your Excellency, I surrender. Hmm. Probably me thinks I should kill him because he just quit the thing, but I want to know information, so we're going to spare him. You are obviously nothing more than a henchman. It is your governor that is going to have some explaining to do. Off with you, and make sure our paths never cross again. Thank you, Excellency. You will never see me again. No, no. Are you dead, dead, or? Tiana Hark? She's unconscious. We need to bring her back to her village. She needs to be tended to. Wait before leaving. Wait. But first, I'm going to make sure that we haven't forgotten anything. I'll return quickly. I feel like there's nothing here, but... Yeah, of course, I'm carrying too much to sprint. Uh, yeah, I see nothing. Let's go. Tiana Hawk. We need to bring up. Leave. We should leave right away. Yeah, I'm sure this is, is gonna go great. Survive? Yes, she will heal. They were not shooting to kill her. And we are resistant, you know. The bond empowers us, it gives us the vigor of animals, the resilience of trees. It's undoubtedly for that reason that your alliance is so interested in us. <laughs> He does not mean to harm you. Please, let me. What do you want from me, Ranaikse? We were manipulated by the Alliance. We had no idea that they sought to capture you. We believed their fable of a miraculous remedy. The man that shot at you is in no condition to come back and bother you. And their governor will have explaining to do. I suppose I should thank you for having pulled me from their claws and bringing me here. Even I would have preferred knowing the men dead. There is indeed a remedy. But I doubt that I can do anything against this sickness that you describe. I don't know it. And I don't see how I could create a remedy that would heal it. Perhaps you could try. We are desperate. This remedy was prepared for a precise purpose. To heal those who escaped the claws of the Alliance. These monsters capture the Sinol Menoi and torture them, bleed them, put things in their veins. Those that do escape are in such agony that our care and comfort are not enough to mend them. That's why I made this remedy. Not for your Malikor. My people have never fallen prey to such sickness. How can you be so sure? Perhaps it's your tremendous resistance that protects you from the sickness. Perhaps. Enon Mil Frichtimen protects us all. Enon Mil Frichtimen? God of a thousand faces in your tongue. The one and many who protects us and our island. They and we are tied and bound. 
as they are tied and bound to you. Their generosity to our people is infinite. But the crimes of the Renaixi enrage it. After all, perhaps your Malikor is their vengeance. This is strange. The two tracks that we followed have led us to the same name. Enon Mil Frigdimil. The god of a thousand faces. But I don't believe he is the origin of your sick. He protects us. He watches over us. Precisely. We know that the congregation came to this island long ago, a lot longer than we first thought. The Malakor could be a consequence of that first attempt to colonize. A curse cast at that epoch, brought back by the first defeated colonists. After all, is it not also the origin of the first guardians of the native legends? Either way, one thing is certain. If there is something or someone on this island powerful enough to heal the Malachor, it is certainly him. We need to bring this news back to Constantine. Even if we don't have a remedy yet, he'll be happy to know that we've made progress. We can do that. There's a travel spot right by us. Uh, I know I'm carrying too much. And when we travel, I'll dump some stuff and talk to you. I'm happy you came to find me. Allow me to apologize once again. I should have spoken to you sooner, told you what I knew, and not betrayed your trust. Indeed, you should have. As I said, I'd like to make up for it and help you find your family again. How do you intend to do that? As you now know, I knew your mother. We had trouble communicating at first, of course, but we gradually learned to understand one another. She was important in her village. Based on what I know today, I think she was a Donegad. She told me her name, Arelwyn, and told me about her family. She even gave me a pendant for you. You were only a child, so I gave it to Mrs. Desade for safekeeping. She gave me a necklace when I went to say goodbye to her. She said it was a family heirloom. Did my mother tell you the name of her village? No. But I'm sure the Norts can help us. They were the ones who took your mother to the continent. It was such a long time ago. How can I find out if they remember? The Norts record everything down to the gentlest breeze. They must have written something in a logbook somewhere. So. Do you want to try and find out where you come from? Do you want to find your relatives? I mean, yes. Yes. All this is so new to me, but I suppose so, yes. Let's go then. That's going to be a bit of a detour. Uh, I'll keep Kurt. Okie dokie. Hola, let's uh let's sell some stuff. Bring up divine fury. Forty nine. Yeah, see. Like, I feel like gold's probably higher than blue in this, but that's some blue armor and gear that's kind of doing wonders there. And there was some, not ammo. It's kind of sold for a portion. Agility, agility. See, I need to look at my agility. Carmen's two-handed heavy weapons. I don't have it yet. It's 
Physical damage goes down, but the stun. Everything. Hmm. Compare with weapon B. Let's grab that. Yeah, I don't have two added weapons. Let's see, the physical damage up, the armor damage is down, and my stun's way down. Yeah, see. Hmm. Okay, we'll leave that. Let's check out firearms. Accuracy two, elemental damage. Ooh. Yeah, I've got a pretty pretty decent weapon there. Okay, so we're good, um, except for... I need to make that better. Uh, there you are. That's, I don't think I need armor damage up. We are going straight. Get that physical damage up. Guess I've got a hammer for busting armor. Assuming. Was it 300? 271? Oh, geez, I'm still so low on that. Uh, okay. Let's actually change our equipment here. Put that back. Then we'll actually swap that out. Yeah, at least the stun though. Put the physical damage. Uh, yeah. Okay. We'll take it. It's like it's kind of half in one, half in the other on that. Woo! I am sorry about what they're doing, other guys. They are being quite, quite noisy today. But then they'll be super silent, and then suddenly they're like, you know what? We haven't been loud in a while. Let's be loud. See, like it's eerie quiet out there. Well, as soon as I say that, of course they start backing up a truck. Spill the beans. You have come at the right time, Your Excellency. I am in a delicate situation, and your help would be invaluable. I'm listening, Admiral. Captain Reuben warned me that he suspected a member of his crew of being a spy. It is almost certain she sent secret navigation information to foreigners. Why ask me to take care of it? This is a very serious accusation. One that results in a member of the guild being expelled. The Norts are like a family, very connected, but also likely to carry resentment. I think an external view is required to be certain that there will be no bias. Anyway, their ship is anchored at New Serene. Your authority will allow you to get more answers than us. I see. What is the exact nature of the information that could have been sent? It's up to you to find out. But all the Norts know how we navigate our ships. You've seen the techniques we use, and you know we want to keep them secret. I agree. Where can I find Captain Reuben? At the port in your town. You know his ship. It was Captain Vasco's before he landed. I'm counting on you, Your Excellency. We must shed light on this case. Oh, let's talk to her about her mother. I have come to talk to you about a personal matter. After what I revealed to you, I was sure you would come back to find me. What would you like to know? You told me that I was born on one of your ships. Of an islander captured on the island. We'd like to know about this woman's origins. 
I'm afraid I can't help you. I did not take part in those expeditions. And our old archives are far from here. Is there no one on Tia Fredi who can help us? Please. Very well. I do know an old captain who could perhaps help you out. Where can he be found? His ship is moored in the port of Hikmet, if I'm not mistaken. His name is Captain Lissandro. Thank you for your help, Admiral. De Sarde? Yes, Admiral. Don't get too caught up in the past. That one in particular. Nothing good will come of it. Whether or not we choose to get caught up in it, Admiral, the past always catches up with us. Sadly, I'm paying the price of this. Yeah, that's uh, okay. So, did. Um, we'll take a small detour. We'll go talk to this captain. See if we can shed some light on this for her. Start one side quest and more come up. Hello. Captain Reuben. Hi, the man himself. To whom do I have the honor of speaking? De Sade, legate of the merchant congregation. What brings you here? The Admiral asked me to shed light on your little problem of indiscretion in your ranks. I see. I would be happy to answer any questions you have. You told the Admiral that you suspect one of your crew members. Indeed. The young apprentice sailor, Alba, a committed volunteer from Teleme. Uh, she only joined us a short time ago. And did you want to know anything else? What led you to these suspicions? Well, the girl's behavior. She was very eager at first, very willing, almost too much. Then, suddenly, she became nervous. She isolated herself and did not speak to others. She's a recent recruit, which inevitably raised some doubts about her vocation. Sometimes I saw her hanging around my cabin. My papers were often disturbed. And since we've returned to port, she's almost never on board. But well, you can understand my concern. But you should probably talk to the other members of the crew. They may know something else. I had the feeling that what aroused your suspicions most is the fact that she was a volunteer. You must understand that volunteers are very rare, especially from Teleme. Their beliefs are quite contrary to our philosophy. And did you want to know anything else? Do you know what information she may have sent? I don't know exactly what you know about our navigation methods. Let's say that magic does not have much to do with it. I see. Well, of course she knows that too. She saw some of our machines on board. And by searching through my papers, she could get even more sensitive information. And did you want to know anything else? The Admiral told me that you were the new captain of the ship we arrived on. The Seahorse? Yes. It's an excellent ship and a good crew. But you did the crossing. You know it as well as me. And did you want to know anything else? That'll be all, Captain. Thank you. We have lots of crew to talk to. Your Excellency. I am so pleased to see you again. The pleasure is shared. What can I do for you? How have things been since you made it back? Very good. Everyone's been looking out for me extra careful, like. I do miss my parents from time to time, but I don't miss the warehouse or the mercenaries. My real family is on the waves. Thanks for helping me to return to them. Anything else, Your Excellency? No problem, Skippy. What have you been up to since we made it to Tier for D? I'm still just a cabin boy, but I have high hopes to be promoted to seaman for our next crossing. Since our captain changed, we've been doing nothing but coasting and small trade. But that won't last. Anything else, Your Excellency? No, not a real question. I would like you to tell me anything you can about a member of your crew. Alba. She joined our party recently, but I like her already. She works hard and is full of courage. You know, she is one of those rare knots that joined of her own volition, and she did everything she could to become one of our own until we arrived here. 
She suddenly became distraught and frightened. It brought back memories. Do you know where I could find her? I'd like to ask her some questions. N no. I've not seen her for a while. Maybe at the tavern? She was playing cards there from time to time. Anything else, Your Excellency? I'm afraid I need to be going. Watch out for yourself. Yeah, you've got something. Okay, I thought it disappeared. True. Your Excellency, it's a pleasure. What can I do for you? Yeah. Now they're right there. Can you tell me anything about Alba? Well, I don't know her very well. She only joined our crew recently. But she pulls her away. You can't hold that against her. You might say she shows a little too much zeal, even, at times. That being said, ever since we got here, I found her a little... distraught. You could even say nervous. Would you know where I could find her? No. I wouldn't. Where's she missed roll call? Well, I hope she didn't do something stupid. These committed volunteers... We never know if we can trust them. Anything else? Nope. I need to be off. Perhaps we'll meet later. Farewell, then. Hey, Drinky. Hey, happy to see you again. How have things been going for you since your crossing? Good, thank you. Even if I've got quite a list of errands to check off. Then straight to it. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a nought. A young woman going by the name of Alba. I know her. She joined our crew at the same time as our new captain. Did you try the tavern? Don't give me that look there. I've kept from the bottle since that story with Jonas, you know that. No matter. When we're at dock, there's nothing much else to do. It might be that little Alba went there to take a look. Anything else? I need to go. Farewell. Smooth sailing. All right. I'm afraid these little secrets have not helped us a great deal. This Alba had just enlisted. She was happy, then we changed her attitude. But is she a spy? We were told that she was sometimes at the tavern. We should take a look there. I mean, where else would they be? It's either on the ship or in the tavern, I find, with most of these guys. For that sweet, sweet ammo. This time, these drunkards will eventually start fighting. Oh, we can't let them get away with it. Word. Let's see. You can shout all you want, but I'm right, you old drunkard. Not at all. I play that hand honestly. You're so drunk. You see double. That's all. <laughs> Are you kidding? Come on, gentlemen. Please calm down. Hey, you are guests here. Behave appropriately. Who are you to give us orders? That's true. You want to see how tough? Come on. You don't know who you're messing with. My child, I doubt that your job as legate involves managing fights between drunkards. Order them to leave. You better get out of here unless you want to end up in jail. Oh! <laughs> He thinks we'll allow that to happen. On guard, sir! <coughs> On guard! Well, all in a good name, we're uh, killing drunkards. That's. That's how you deal with drunk people. Jazz, whip out your sword and kill him. What can I pull for you? I mean, nothing. I'm looking for a young nought. She goes by the name of Alba and sails on Captain Ruben's ship. I wouldn't know who that is. Why don't you go and ask that fellow over there? He often shares a bottle with the sailors. He might remember your nought. Anything else? That's buy a bottle. Give me a bottle of your best drink. There you go. But be careful. She's got a strong bite. 
Hello? So it's, oh, excuse me. Hey, look at that! <laughs> the upper crust coming to slum it at the tavern. Change your tone, soldier. You're speaking to the legate of the congregation. Oh, my apologies, Captain. I didn't know. How may I help you? We're looking for a young Nort. She's part of Captain Reuben's crew. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. A girl who loses her pay with style. <laughs> but I don't know where she is. She looked sad last time I saw her. Didn't have her head in the game. Have you ever heard her talk about secrets or documents she would like to exchange? Are you asking me if she's a spy? <laughs> no idea she told me nothing. But if that's why you're looking for her, I may have seen things that might interest you. I'm often mistaken for a drunkard, so they pay no attention to me. But I see everything. Tell me what you saw. This should quench your thirst. So, what did you see? Well, returning late at night, I spotted a guy I'd seen before at the tavern. He often spent time with the Nort, and he was in the street, fiddling with a stone, looking suspicious. So, I took a closer look when he left. I thought he'd stashed money or something, but no. There was a box under the stone, but there was no gold inside, just papers. They were messages, and from the look of the guy, they couldn't be love letters. <laughs> Now, I don't know how to read, so I couldn't understand what it was about, but maybe those were your secrets? Where is this hiding place? Cross the bridge at the exit of the town. On the left, look for the stone. The box is underneath. Thank you, soldier. My pleasure, friend. Do you want to know anything else? Nope. That'll be all, soldier. Thank you. Find the dead drop. Right. Oh no, I forgot I changed my wait. Oh no, I sold it. Maybe. I didn't sell it. Look, my lock picking is improved. Miraculously by my uh, outfit. I haven't uh, upgraded this armor at all. Probably should. Uh, so I had not left, got it. Look, they're working on the bridge. Wow, this drunk had followed him a distance. Green blood, my friend. Glad to see you. I'd like to uh -oh. talk to you about something. I'm listening. Remember that note we found in Rolf's office? Of course. The one that said the recruits had been sent to different governors? Yes. It was signed with a name I'm familiar with. Herman. Somebody I'd hope never to cross paths with again. He was the one who founded the camp we closed. And believe me, he has done an incredible amount of damage to the guard. But you look quite busy. Come back and see me when you're ready. Anything else? Uh, nope. I must leave you. This stone must be the one the soldier told us about. Look, it hides a box. Someone exchanges secrets using this box. But who? Well then, we'll have to catch whoever uses it red-handed. Oh, I'm a little old for hiding in the bushes, but if that's what you want to do... 
Well, it's it's what we got to do, man. Go over here. Assuming get up on this ledge. Deal with these monsters first. Let's try our new new whip here. Things are about to get dicey. That one. Circle back so those guys get off the corpse. We can see everything from here. If someone comes, we can't miss them. Shall we wait here? I mean, yes. Someone is approaching. Maybe our spy. Should we crouch? Probably turn off that lantern. This guy is only an underling. Keep our distance, boys. Coming through. Hello. Well, gentlemen, what are you plotting? Fool! They followed us. I thought I was careful. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation, and you have been caught plotting treason. So I suggest you talk. What do these messages contain, and what are they about? You're wasting your time. I, I, I won't say a word. Oh. Well, let's attempt to intimidate him, 74% chance. Do you chance. realize that you were suspected of espionage and conspiracy? Don't you think you better explain yourself? All I can tell you is that it does not concern the congregation. I will not say another word. It's like your second fail in a row, Threaten. My patience is very limited. After all, who will blame me for shooting down a spy caught in the act? It has nothing to do with the congregation. I beg you. I'll tell you everything. But know this. I will inform my governor about how you treated me. Some time ago, it was rumored that the secrets of the Norts were for sale. My country was interested. So I started exchanging messages as you've been doing. The Nort who was willing to give up these secrets demanded a fortune. He also wanted to become a citizen. But we were only at the negotiation stage. For the moment, uh, I have received nothing concrete. Just promises. Who is the Nort you're talking to? Oh, I've no idea. The messages were signed White Rose, but I doubt it's a real name. Very well. You seem to be telling the truth. And give me the message in your possession before leaving. Very well. Here it is. Now, if you'll allow me, uh, I, I will leave the town. Right. Let's go let the Admiral know what we found. Although it's really not a lot. Ah, your excellency. So, what did you discover? There is indeed a spy among the Norts, but the spy's identity remains to be proven. Take this. I have recovered this note which seems to suggest that your secrets have been offered to several buyers. The Alliance citizen we met did not win the bid. I knew it. My logbook has just been stolen, and of course Alba is missing. Do we really still need proof? This book must be found at all costs before Alba sells it. Your Excellency, can we count on you once more? I would like to help you, but this island is vast. How could I possibly hope to find it? Alba is from Teleme. She probably took refuge in San Mateus. 
This reduces the search area a little. What do you say, Your Excellency? This is a trail that deserves to be followed. I will keep you updated, Admiral. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, trial spot right there. down these side quests. Oh, crafting table. Hold on. Okay, strap. Where do you want that locked pouch? I think we probably want to equally boost them both. Don't, nope, haven't done anything with my boots either. There we go. There are who gave us information when they had problems with the Inquisition. Do you remember? Yes, I remember for now. Let's go and see. There's everything happens at taverns, bars. It's like the place. Okay, take this is at the port this time, but I mean in general that theory usually holds water. Good day, Desade. How can I help you? We're looking for a young Nort named Alba on behalf of the Admiral. I've heard about her. Several crew members told me that one of our own was looking to leave the island. You should ask them if you want to learn more. They should be near the boarding area. But me? I've not seen her. More questions? No, oh, that was it. I've got everything I need. Oh, thank you. Like who I want to meet. Your Excellency. Nope. What fair wind brings you here? We're looking for a young Nort who arrived from New Serene a short time ago. Her name is Alba. Yes, I remember her well. The poor child wanted to flee her father. He wanted to take her back to the convent. She asked me when our ship was leaving and if I thought we could take her on board. I told her she better talk to the captain, but we weren't leaving right away in any case. So she left. You say she was fleeing her father? Yes, that's what she said. He followed her here to take her back to Tuleme. Poor child. Did she tell you what his name was? Yes. She told me that if a certain gentleman, Lorenz, that's it, Lorenz, if he was asking after her, I should send him packing. Surely it was a fake excuse. We're looking for her for espionage and treason. Really? Yet she seems sincere. Treason? I can't believe it. Mm -hmm. If her father is actually here, do you have any idea where we might find him? Well, at one point I asked her why she was not waiting at the tavern for a ship to leave. She told me she could not go to the tavern, so maybe that's where you'll find him. I must leave you. Well, it looks like we have to find him at the tavern, but we got to be there at a certain time, so... Uh, we're gonna have to do. Probably go rest it off. And hit up that tavern. Mm. 
<laughs> and we got our buddy to talk to who's got a side quest for us. Now, counting the other side quest we still have where we haven't found our uh, mother's family either, so. Whew, got our work cut out for us. Try to work on, do some main, do some side, you know. That way we keep going. Okay. Now it's night time. Excuse me, Kurt. You missed nap time. That's on you, not me. I'll say my statement. Everything happens at the tavern. Hello. Hello. Are you Master Lorenz? Indeed, sir. What do you want from me? My name is Desarde. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation, and I have a few questions for you. We're looking for a young nought called Alba. We were told that you're her father. Alba. What a stupid name. Her real name is Clara, and yes, she is my daughter, although she chose to deny me. Have you seen her recently? Alas, no. Otherwise, I would have brought that little idiot back to Teleme. Why did she have to leave? What madness could make her leave the convent to go to sea? Your daughter is accused of espionage and treason by the Norts. Do you think she could be guilty? Espionage? I can't believe it. But treason, how can it be denied? She rejected her country, her faith, and her family by getting on that ship. But I will soon bring her back on the right path. I hired a sleuth from the Ordo Luminous. Tell me more about this sleuth. Some inquisitors are specialists in hunting criminals, or heretics, or young scatterbrains. That's certainly the case with this Johannes. He will bring her back to me, and she will return to the convent in Teleme. Do you know where we could find him? Maybe he could help us. His last message was about a missionary camp where he had followed her near Wench... something or other. I'm sorry, I can't remember those island names. Thank you, sir. If you find her, bring her back to me. She will no longer have the chance to betray anyone at the convent. I hope we're done. Yeah. I'll leave you, sir. You've given us all we need. Camp near an island village whose name begins with Wench. He must be talking about Wench. Shall we go there? And we shall go. Jump in here, hit that fireplace up, and go. Right there. Get down and listen. It seems to me that it's our sleuth. I got that. A drop down point up here, or is that the drop down point? Nope, that went too far. Too far, guys. Back it up. Back it up. Hey, who goes there? Who are you? And what are you doing here? 
Are you spying on me? My name is Desardé. I'm the legate of the congregation, and I was sent to find a young Nort, Alba. That dirty little eel slipped through my fingers. But this savage will soon tell me where to find her. Uh, let's order him to release this prisoner. Your brutality must stop. I order you to release this man and leave immediately. I don't care about your orders. And since you want to interfere in my hunt... Whoop, here we go, combat. To my help! May the enlightened take pity on this narrow mind. Let's free this poor man. 